Hello everyone, Jesse Webb, Traders Pro. Market's uh, still on this little b bullish run, which has been kind of nice. And uh, even after uh, some Fed uh, activity yesterday, still continuing to see that overall uptrend. Uh, we're seeing this number starting to shift here. This bear market negative nine. Those of you, uh, those of you that have been watching for the last few months, you've seen this number go from a negative twenty up to a negative nine. And I've mentioned this before that the outside range of this indicator is negative five. So we've been all the way down here, and now we're working our way back this direction and sitting somewhere around here. So it's been a pretty historic downturn traditionally, at least for some of these trend analysis indicators that I utilize and implement and. Uh, that's uh, that's still got some work to do, but we're moving in the right direction as far as creating the base. So remember that Wall Street climbs a wall of worry. So whatever is happening out in the news right now, just kind of mentally turn some of that off because it most of it is irrelevant. You, you've heard the the room buy the rumor, sell the news <clears throat> type idea. Well, buying the rumor of buying something that may be projecting itself down the road and then when it actually happens six months down the road that's when you exit the trade versus buying based on what is being talked about right now because it's almost it's almost always irrelevant uh, at least in the terms of being able to adjust what that future looks like if the future is already anticipated with variables xyz and then all of a sudden that variable z changes significantly then the perspective of the future has to change. That's why the market hates when the Fed does not guide. Uh, they don't, they, you know, they can't necessarily, um, if they do were to do something out of the expectation, that's when the market kind of freaks out. So same with earnings, same with things like that. The market wants clarity and certainty and even certainty in the unknown. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's look at the short term timing signals here. We've got again, we're moving. I'm going to slide down to these lower levels. We've got this upper range now on momentum where we are approaching that upper range. Again, this can move if we get a, you know, we've had a breakout on the S&P and I'll show you that chart. So we could move pretty sharply uh, and get towards this upper extreme right here. This is the best chart for a breakout analysis, but we're up above this support area on S&P, at least on SPY. And, uh, and that's that even it's even more bullish for, uh, for this shorter term, the breadth is also participating. That means that we've got a lot of stocks in this uptrend. And obviously, we know that sentiment has also been really positive for the last six, eight months. That's the blue line right here. When this line is up here, You've got a lot of you don't have any fear. There's no fear in the market. Sometimes that can be a bad thing, as I've mentioned before, when uh, everyone's on one side of the trend. Oftentimes that's when there's there's nobody left to take the other side of the trade and uh, you get a shift. But in this case, we're seeing price and, mo and breadth and, and sentiment all participating in this current uptrend. S&P 500, if we look at the SPY chart, you can see just it's, you know, we're running into some resistance right there. It really technically is not an exact breakout because we kind of are finding resistance. We'll see if we move up above that today and, and uh, tomorrow. And if that propels us even higher, that next stop is just probably right up in this range as far as resistance, any kind of resistance area. And that could really be a significant uh, shift here in the shorter term some stocks to watch today if you go in here to the sectors tab and you take a look at the um, the list here this construction list you'll notice there's a couple of them autos and, tr and uh, tires even though it's ranked down here towards the bottom it's got a buy sell ratio of 39 almost every stock in that category is in an uptrend Okay, versus this is essentially no trend or flat. This is a, a downtrend and this is an uptrend. 117 in that list. Same with construction, you'll notice right here, 108 and four. So something is happening here in those sectors which are interesting. Um, this one is ranked a little bit higher because the average list, the average stock in that group has got a, a rank of 58. So the entire group, this is ranking that entire group and, and oil and energy obviously have the strongest set of stocks. So that's going to outperform slightly. But the construction has bumped up here significantly. Keep an eye on that. You can click an, I can click this drop down and kind of see which ones building and construction are participating residential construction participating. You're just seeing a, a lot of these stocks moving, which are anticipating 
uh, increased growth, maybe lower interest rates. That, that's kind of the question is why are they moving? Uh, and more than likely, it's in anticipation that the Fed is done with their interest rates and going to be stabilizing or potentially even lowering, even though yesterday they said that they're probably going to continue to have these small hikes, 25 basis points. We'll see what, We'll see if that even uh, what that looks like and if it even matters. Uh, if you don't have full access to the site, you can sign up with the link below. And we look forward to having you. Have a great day today.